looking deep down the left side. Mendel over the end zone. Touchdown! And welcome, buddy, back to B Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. It is Wednesday, May 18th. We had Central Section Boys Tennis Championships. Division II, Garce is hosting East. Let's go straight to the action. Well, we start off action in the number one singles. That's Dylan Simonson, a junior out of Garces. He'll be the number two seed in the section individual championships at Wasco this week and taking on East. Caleb Johnson, also a junior and the two-time defending B Varsity Player of the Year and five seed this weekend. Johnson took the first set 6-4, but Simonson came back 6-2 and won the tiebreaker 10-3 as Garces took an early 2-1 lead in the, in the singles championship with Nico Lunday defeating Josh Doton in, in the uh, number two singles 6-1, 6-1, and Luke Evans of Garces defeating Anthony Olivas 3-6, 6-1, 10-2. But East would come back and win the four, five, and six singles to make it a three-three tie. And a little bit of game game and chip by Chris Colvin, the East coach. He puts Johnson in the number three singles for East, and it works. He's there with Danny Vasquez, and East down four-two at one point in the first set. Comes back, wins it. 6-4, 6-0, as East would clinch the D2 section championship. 5-4 win over Garces. Congratulations to East, the team that won just one match all of last season. Comes back 24-4 this season, and the D2 section champions. All right, let's go straight into the scoreboard. In Division One softball action in the first round, Liberty defeated Clovis North 9-3. Liberty be in the quarterfinals at number one Buchanan on Friday. Fresno Central defeated Centennial 6-3. Central will be at number four Stockdale on Friday. Also in Division One action, Hanford West 2-1 winner over Frontier. A heartbreaker for the Titans. Hanford West will be at number two Clovis in the quarterfinals in D2 action. Ridgeview defeated East 2-1. Ridgeview will be at number four Sanger in the quarterfinals. Also in the E2 action, Redwood out of Visalia defeated North 7-6. And Garces, a 10-8 winner on the road at Edison. Garces will go on the road once again up to Porterville to play number two Menachee. And Independence in D3 defeated Chavez 14-5. Independence will travel to Liberty Madera Ranchos, a number one seed on Friday in D4 action. We have Kern Valley defeating Lindsay 4-0. Kern Valley still having to travel because of the HDL will be at number five, Colinga. And there's Colinga defeating McFarland 5-0. And then Highland, 16-4 winner over Shafter. Highland will be at number three, Riverdale, in the quarterfinals. That's all the action we have for you tonight. Tomorrow it'll be baseball quarterfinals. Lots of action. Bakersfield will be taking on Tulare Union at home. BHS, the number 10 seed in D2. Well, they're at home because Tulare Union beat number two Edison yesterday in the first round. That game will be at 4 o'clock. We'll have the highlights from that one right here at B Varsity Nightly. Until then, I'm Trevor Horn. You guys have a good one, and stay hydrated because it's a hot one out there. Bye-bye.